I haven't made a video in a while. I've been busy between work and um, getting my dad's and my gardens ready for winter. Just haven't been had time to make a video and I still have the Catalina. Today I took it out to some estate sales. It was a brisk 32 degrees this morning. Car cranked right up, took right off. Went out and did some estate sailing today. Car ran perfect. Um, I haven't been driving it much since the Dream Cruise, but I have been driving it occasionally. And uh, I picked something up in an estate sale today and I wanted to share it with everybody. So we'll get the trunk open here and show you what I got. Picked up a Heathkit Ignition Analyzer. It's an oscilloscope. And... Uh, Got it for 15 bucks, so I figured well, I'll take my chance. It's older than the hills. I like old automotive test equipment. I enjoy fooling with it. And if you play with these old school cars, you need the old school test equipment. So let's get this thing out of the trunk and take it over to the bench and have a look at it. And I think we'll even maybe try and connect it up to the Pontiac and crank the engine up and see what it does. Now this is a piece of old test equipment. I do like the old test equipment to work, you know, these ancient pieces of equipment to work on ancient cars. I have this tester too, which you've probably seen in when I got the Pontiac going. The thing looks warped because I got it on the medium uh, view on the camera. But that's from 1978. I got it for Christmas in 1978. And that gives you your, your point voltage your volts dwell rpm ohms and an alternator and i think you can test starters with that same uh current draw and then you need a, a timing light so i got a timing light here this one has the dial on the back so you can adjust for your timing so and a vacuum gauge is nice to have if you do work on these old school cars but this I assume is from the vintage of this that I just got done reteaking so that's why that's in here but this is um when I was at the estate sale I kind of looked it over checked it out before I bought it and the reason why I think that it's vintage is because of the air of the car is because of that right there so this tells me with tubes in there this is probably a piece of equipment from the late 50s or early 60s as they went to transistors in the kind of real early 60s these are the test leads so we got all of this thing by the way is like brand new and it has all the manuals in here too so let's get them out Sorry about shaking you all over there when I'm digging in the boxes. Now, if nobody is familiar with Heathkit, Heathkit is a, a electrical or electronic device that you build yourself. You buy the kit and put it together yourself. So, you know, it tells you a bit about resistors. I've built a Heathkit metal detector and a color organ and a strobe light and different, various different things. When I was a kid growing up, um, so they're just, you know, giving you your parts list here. Kind of more of the parts list. And more of the parts list. So it's nice with this kit is if there is something wrong with the unit, 99% chance that I can repair it. They show you how to do your soldering and whatnot. And I'm, I'm not going to go page by page in this thing. That's where the tube goes in. There, that's kind of the innards. So you can kind of see, you know, it's pretty, pretty cut and dry on assembly of these things. You know, it's shown, this is what I was just showing you through the through that door on the bottom of the unit was that and that's the that's the other side of that right there so yeah it's this is the electrical schematic for the 
uh, analyzer. And this kind of is like a little diagnostic chart, basics of what the pattern says. Now between that tester on top of the toolbox there and this tester, you can totally, mostly with this, you can totally diagnose your ignition system. If you look at where your spark is for each spark plug, you can tell if one's got a higher resistance than another. In other words, a larger gap or or a bad plug wire, for example. And this also came with it, and it's called minor tune-up with the analyzers. And it basically breaks down what the picture is, what the problem is, what the picture is, the problem is there. Same here. So you can kind of get the idea of what you're looking at on the oscilloscope to what... Uh, what your problem may be. Now you can see here, this is all your cylinders in a row, so you can see the spark, all the different problems, and what this pattern should look like. So, yeah, I've used oscilloscopes quite a bit in the past, so I'm not unfamiliar with them. Um, let's see if we can see what year this thing is. Let's see here. See right here. I don't know if this will focus, but it says 1960. Heathkit was from Benton Harbor, Michigan. So yeah, so it's pretty interesting. So I think what we'll do is we'll figure, generally, I think this will, one of these goes to a plug wire, one goes to a coil wire, positive side of the distributor. Um, usually that's how these hook up, this plugs in right there. So we'll figure this thing out and get it powered up and crank the Pontiac up and see what it does. So just give me a minute here and I'll fool around with it for a minute and try and get things up and working. You know you're using old school equipment when you see photos like this. Look at this photo here. That's a straight eight. Flathead straight eight. So you know you're working on old machinery. That looks like a GM... With the dual Sonoracle, I would suspect it's tri-power, probably a Cadillac, maybe 58. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get this thing hooked up. This one actually says right here, reprinted courtesy Shell Oil Company. And that's what it says on the back. And being Benton Harbor, and this Benton Harbor, I'm sure that this came with the Heath kit analyzer too, uh, the kit. So let's uh, let's get this thing hooked up and see what it see what it. Look at those old analyzers. Good lord, yeah, that's some nothing more interesting and fun to fool with than old. This is this tester right here, the one I'm using right now. So looks like the one goes to number one spark plug. One goes to ground, let's see, distributor side of the coil. So let's uh, let's figure this thing out and get it hooked up. Yes, this, this did come with the Heath kit thing, and I will show you this. So this basically, and I don't know if this is in focus, I can't tell on this little screen, but it says factory assembled, that unit was $169.95, and this is 1960. Do-it-yourself kit form where you put it together yourself is $89.95. It says dealer prices may be slightly higher. So yeah, so it's kind of interesting that um, it shows what this thing cost. This is how it shows to hook the analyzer up. So I just kind of had to read the directions there a little bit. So this goes to number one spark plug lead, which is the spark plug right here, number one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. This goes to the coil lead. This goes to engine ground, and that goes to the distributor side of the coil. So it looks like it's all hooked up. The engine's warm on the car, so it should crank. We'll crank it right up. 
you know, open up the garage door. It's still kind of cold out, so the furnace, well, I'll turn the furnace off so it doesn't come on. So let's turn this thing on. It will have to warm up because it has tubes in it. is working that is the secondary expanded that's the secondary normal so you can see the spark lines all of, that's all secondary ignition right there you suddenly accelerate the engine and you lose a spike, usually that's a uh, lean run or vacuum leak or something like that. You can usually diagnose which cylinder you're having the problem with with these motors. This is in the firing order of the engine. So if it's this one, I think the second is eight, so that's, that's one, eight, let's see what the firing order is, four, um, Three six five seven two. So we got a nice working analyzer that looks like brand new. There's a place for another tube there. I'll figure out what that's for, and uh, or I don't know something there. But anyway, I'll figure out what that's for and deal with that. Maybe get a tube or whatever. But it works fine just as it is. This is the, that's the primary side. So that's, you're looking at the dwell and all uh, the light duty side of the ignition system, so to speak. The point side, which this has the igniter. So it's, uh, it's going to be a little different if it had points in it. And that's expanded out, so you can see each one individually. Again, that's the primary. So we got a good running, good working tester and a good running engine. Sorry if there is ignition noise on this video. Again, I changed the microphone to a different one to see if that would help. If it doesn't, well, sorry. But I don't know if it's, uh, give the engine the gas and the static goes away. So I don't know if it's a voltage regulator and charging system or if it's the ignition. It sounds like ignition, but when I, like I say, when I throttle the engine, it kind of goes away. Runs good, everything looks good on the oscilloscope. The 1960 oscilloscope on the 1960 car. Kind of neat. So that's the same error. Kind of interesting having the same error of uh, test equipment for the car. That is uh, paraded. And that's superimposed. So superimposed are all stacked on top of one another. That's the secondary. That's the primary. And again, they're all stacked on top of one another. I always wondered what those Pertronic electronic ignitions looked like on a oscilloscope, never put one on an oscilloscope. So, yeah. 
There they are all stacked up against on top of one another again. All eight cylinders. They're all pretty consistent, so everything's pretty pretty tight on the engine. That's what it should look like. Thank you for watching my videos.